Hi, today I'm with uh, Mega Yuan. He's the founder of OY Games. And uh, Mega, can you tell us a bit about uh, your company? Okay, uh, OY Games actually is an indie game company that based in Malaysia. Uh, we started, uh, we founded it early this year. Before we, we start OY Games, actually, I am a game, games lecturer in Lim Ko Universities. I teach uh, students how to mix game, how to uh, mix uh, game up, up for games. After that, I kind of interest in this industry, in this field. That's why I came out and I worked with the company. Then after that, for one or two years, then I left the company and went into my own uh, business, which is called OY Games. Okay. So, Mega, can you tell us a bit about the projects you've been working on in OY Games? Uh, sure. Uh, the first game actually we, we launched when we found out uh, OY Games is called Color Rush Challenge. It's a very simple kind of casual game that you, you have to match the correct color. Like, we, we make Color Rush because uh, we want to test out in mobile mobile market. Previously, actually, we, we experienced doing PC games. But then, uh, for it to translate into mobile, we had to learn through the process and learn difficulties about mobile games. So that's considered our very first project. And after that, uh, we have experience. We plan to go something uh, something more hard, which is called Tap Summoners. Uh, the good thing about Tap Summoners is when we developed the, when we developed the games at the time, actually, we went to an event called Casual Connect. We got an award from there, which is the best in uh, show Odin Choice Award. In last uh, in, in May in May the time, the game itself actually is kind of like a combination of a hybrid game of tower offense and tapping element. All you have to do is simply tap on the screen to summon your minion and attack the enemy. And the team is really uh, kind of focusing more on the Southeast Asia content, which have more more uh, more more have different kind of minion like Toyo, Pochong, and Montana. And also we have from the Chinese side we have Taos, which carry the the jumping fear called Vampire. And also from the Western we have like uh, Wempy. Is the, the Western Vampire? That's uh, that's for tap summoners. So, Omega, what challenges do you face as a developer in Malaysia? Can you tell us a bit about what you faced so far and your experience? Oh, all right. Uh, for my story, uh, when I started up in, in the industry, I kind of find it hard for me to actually go for this. The first thing, actually, of course, uh, the resource, the funding, uh, the money that we need to actually develop the games because. I realized that when in the game industry we need a lot like animators, programmers, artists and concept artists to just make one game and that requires a lot of resource. The time actually is not easy for us to find. And also uh, lack of talent. Because uh, when the time when I'm in, in university uh, lecturing at time, uh, most of the parents they don't really allow the, their their child to actually join the game industry. They kind of think like why I need to let my, my, my kids to play game, uh, to, to learn game when they're already playing games back in the home. So that's, that's the challenge we face. But thank God, uh, thanks the help uh, from MDEC, actually now things are getting better. We get funding from them and also uh, they also help, help, help us to actually expose to more, more people and so how to, how, how they help trying to bring up the industry as well. What future projects do you currently have installed in the uh, OI Games? Uh, actually, we are kind of, kind of in the planning for the next project, which is for uh, Polar Waste. The game is kind of like a soccer game, but it's not really just a soccer game, it's actually something more than that. It's a, it's a multiplayer kind of game that you get to challenge your friend, kind of like a tournament thingy that you challenge your friend, you show off your friend how, how, how good you are and what your skills is. I couldn't tell you that's more about uh, what is Polaroid because we are, we are still planning, we are still actually kind of in the concept for the games. And the game will, 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 will purpose, uh, probably will be ready by uh, next year, uh, before around, around May at time, so wait for that. And after that, we, we kind of think that we have already been uh, in, the, in the mobile uh, game development for quite some time already. We actually we plan to actually go back to our previous uh, ideas to make P games for PC. And with all the experience that we have in mobile, actually we can translate into PC. And it, we believe that it can be even better games for PC. So please wait for that.